Hey everyone, welcome to a game called Bad Parenting 1. Um, so I've been hearing a lot about this game and apparently it's really good. Daz uploaded this game yesterday and I was going to watch it and then I was like, you know what, I'll play the game for myself. So before I read about this game, please head over to my channel and click subscribe and let me know once you've done that. That would be great. And remember, I go live on Twitch once a week. So if, if you have any suggestions for games you want to see me live stream, then let me know. Or if you have games you want to see me play to upload onto the channel, let me know also. So, this game was made by 2002. Is that what it says? Wait, I, I don't know. It just says follow 2002 on itch. Uh, so it says, Mr. Redface, a fictional character created by adults to teach their children. It's said that he often appears late at night to give gifts to well-behaved kids. But is the story of Mr. Redface really that simple? Ron, the main character of the game, Ron Weasley, who will witness the suffering that Mr. Red Face brings to his family. So this game is about 20 minutes long. So enough said, let's get into today's game. Let's do this. I'm so excited for this. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Oh, okay, let's do it. Story one, Mr. Redface. Son, mum, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? No. But today is my birthday. Oh. Oh, of course, I know that. Then where is my gift? Right here. <laughs> um... Have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. While they are asleep. Asleep. <laughs> really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right away now, Mum. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Oh. <laughs> you still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Hey, little sh**. Back to your room. Don't stand here eavesdropping. Eavesdropping. I always thought it was ears dropping. <laughs> Guess it's eavesdropping on grown up conversations. Okay. Oh, I can move now. Ha. Huh. Oh my god, the scent. Is there like options or something? Because the mouse sensitivity. One and two. What? I guess I can't. Okay, that's fine. Hello, mother. See, straight up your nose. Hello, father. You grumpy git. Okay, let's go to bed. Where's our room, actually? Oh my god, this map. I'm gonna turn it down actually on my mouse. There we go, that's better. Oh, this is my room. Wait. If this is my room, do I have a sibling? Or is this mum and dad's room and they sleep in different beds? Wow, their relationship is going great. This is my room. Wait, this is my room? Why is it so empty? Okay. Yeah, this is about 20 minutes long, this game is. Wow, we are asleep. Oh god, Bigfoot's on its way.
Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Oh my god, it's like a Coraline doll. Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Oh, I thought I was Ron. Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. Oh, okay, never mind. It is like a Coraline doll. That's right, my master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay, sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. Do you want to play something with me? Hmm. My master stored my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? Ah, oh, hell no. This, this is where your master went. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating, but I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master linked all of your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing! Okay, what are we going to have for breakfast? I personally like scrambled egg and turkey bacon. That's what I like to have for breakfast. Well, I don't even eat breakfast. What time is it now? It's ten past twelve in the afternoon, and I haven't eaten yet. I don't usually eat until about five, because I'm never hungry in the morning. You're reading this letter at 1pm, aren't you? No. Sleepyhead. I've prepared your favourite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Mum. <gasps> what is it? You are holding something else. Right. Oh, can I put you there? Weird. Right. How do we... Wait, how do we eat? Oh, medicine. Medicine's there. But I need to eat first. Ah? Am I... Oh, I should have put you in one of these chairs. God damn it. Can I not put the food down? I, I can't... I can't put the food back. Oh, wait. Heat it up. I forgot. Blah. Uh, hello. Weird little thing. Woo! Is that your favourite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Yes, please. Alright, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. I don't think I like that. Wow, that's amazing. What else can you do? Is that wine? You're going to smash me over the head. The doll's an alcoholic. What? What just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad up. He was a bit of an ass, so yeah, that's fair. What did you say? Medicine. I can't take my medicine. Oh, do I need to go check on Dad? Oh god, the bloody doll's here. Where's my Dad? As I said, my master has taken your Dad away. Why? Because your Dad is a bad person. He often hits you, hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My Dad doesn't deserve that. He's a bad person. No, he's not. 
Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. His shortcut is through your closet. Oh, feck off. Where your master went. Okay. Ah, oh, go away. Still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. I don't like this. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. There's nothing in here! Oh right, I, f I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Right. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. I don't like this, man. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. Okay. Is this the right place? I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Alright. Let's jump into the fire! Woo! Oh, I didn't even burn us. Never mind. Right, where is father? Papa! What is this? Oh my god. Hello. What's up? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. That's the same name as my dog. <laughs> Wait a moment. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Please don't get up. Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So, he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruces. More specific, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. And slaps too. And? That's all. The door is behind you. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, they look like Wii characters. Boo! Ah ha ha He just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Why do I give you a weird posh accent, but also not? I don't know. Oh my god, my father is freezing. Papa! Dad? Please, stop. Punishing. Me? It's me, Dad. Please, stop. Punishing. Me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home or Mr. Redface will take both of us. What do I do? Oh. Spell. I was going to say, spell what? Oh my god, am I the bloody doll? Are all the kids we saw dolls? Look. I can't do that, you're just showing off now. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken Dad. Oh, never mind, I'm not a doll, I thought I was. I'm just very small. Oh. Well, that's a good thing then. 
I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How was your doll Ron doing today? Is it all right? The doll? Mum, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. Am I schizophrenic? This isn't the first time you've had such such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common fact is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No? I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Ah! <gasps> Am I schizophrenic? That's the only thing that I can explain. Or my mum's just messing with me. I don't know. I can't sleep. Oh, hello. Oh no, I died. Hello, mother dearest. <laughs> What just happened, son? Are you all right? No, I don't think so. Oh my God, why are you there? Do you feel better now? Yeah, Mum. It's Mr. Red... F it's all right. Tomorrow I'll take a day off to stay at home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mum? I promise. Now I'll go back to sleep. Yes, mum. Yes, mother. Oh, my God. Whoa, it's morning. Wait, what? Mum? You've broken the promise again. Oh, what a bitch. I will sue her for that. Are there are no notes for me this time. I guess I'll go to my room. <gasps> He's been beaten. What happened to you? My master... <laughs> I wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mum anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. You should run away because he will come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mum and dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? Ah! Oh, he's actually kind of a good doll, I guess. Found this in my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly go into the closet to find where your mum is being held. Yes, doll. Oh yeah, not this one, I forgot, it's the other one. Oh god, it feels like we're playing Undertale. I still haven't completed that game, it's been like seven months since my last video. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. Yeet! What? Oh. oh no. Yes? What do I do now? What? Do I go home? Am I safe? Um. Oh, I can't leave the room. What do I do? Oh. What's happening to you? 
My master has been defeated. Uh, defeated. The magic has cost me is also fading. Oh, the magic he cast me. I thought it said cost. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. I love you, doll. Dad? Mum? You are free now. Oh. You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Oh, this is where it left off from when he told me to go to bed. Liar. You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? What about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home, leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a... Nice. You're lowering yourself even below that. Ah! One more word. Fine. You and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. Oh, shh. I want to go with mother. Oh, my God. I should have just let my dad die. I should just let him die, honestly. Oh my god, he is Mr. Red Face is back. And we won't let this happen. Oh my god, he is Mr. Red Face. I want mother. This cannot be true. I'm very sorry, Ron. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. Whose neck did that... Did Mr. Redface snap? Whose neck was that? Huh? Was it me? What? This is... Me? Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny it and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. Oh, so this is like another dimension where everything's really bad. And I'm trying to get a relationship with my dad. So I guess this is kind of like another dimension then. I've tried many times. Many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick tock, boom. All the memories disappear. You once again wake up at the starting point. Which is the night your dad murdered... Oh my god, okay. So maybe this is actually the reality. Where... Everything that happened with mum and dad did actually happen. And then he drank too much. I went to bed and he murdered me or something like that. And then threw me in the closet. How long have I been dead? 14 days. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room.
What about Mum, though? Where is she? That's that's what happened when I went to the through the portal. He was shivering in a room. Go home with me, Dad. What about my mum? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only home late at night. But if it's daytime... Son? So did they not actually have an argument then? Oh yeah, I forgot that she always comes home like she's always working. <laughs> Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? Just drop something, ma'am. The red face card. What is that? It's a motel card, but I'm not sure it's mine. Killer father arrested. Okay. Oh, I'm just a ghost walking around the house now, probably reliving the same nightmare. They're ghosts. I've just realised they're children that have been murdered too, I think. Oh my god, they are. They're trying to get home too. I don't think they realise that they're actually dead. Or they've only just, like, found out sort of thing. I'm so glad I played this game and I didn't watch Daz's video because that would have spoiled it completely for me. That was so frigging good. I don't know when Bad Parenting 2 is going to come out, but I'm hoping soon. That was actually so frigging good. And now we're probably going to have to relive the exact same nightmare. So I'm guessing whilst mum was at work, dad got a bit too drunk and unalived me and threw me in a closet and then was being a coward and a wuss and ran straight to a motel to hide and that obviously didn't work so now he's been arrested oh my god that was such a good game it's probably the best game i've actually played in a while that was great oh my god i actually really did like that i can't wait for the second one to come out i really can't oh that was amazing let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments down below but that was Bad Parenting 1, uh, Mr. Redface. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And check out the other videos I've posted. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.